It's hot out there, it's dry, and it's windy too, all of which has combined this past week to make conditions ripe for wildfires. Clint Simpson is a senior forecaster with the National Weather Service. We have very dry weather, as everybody knows, and there are fires, especially in the mountains. And uh, what we try to do, we try to uh, let the Guam Forestry Department and the fire departments know when conditions are severe enough that when fires start, they'll spread rapidly and dangerously. Since Monday, the Weather Service has had a fire weather warning in effect. It's been extended twice and again today until Sunday at 6 in the evening. It's mainly because we've just had very dry weather and at times when we think the winds will be gusty enough to cause the dangerous fire weather conditions, we put out these watches and uh, red flag warnings at times. The Guam Fire Department has had its hands full all week with a grass fire or two burning somewhere on island nearly every day. Well, Fire Chief Joey Sanikers. That we are in the dry season and uh, the natural uh, foliage out there is uh, ripe for burning at this time and that no, no fire is started naturally. Uh, it's usually started by, by people either uh, intentionally or, in, or uh, unintentionally. At one point conditions on Wednesday became so severe that the National Weather Service <laughs> issued a rare red flag warning. In that particular case, it was the winds. The winds picked up, especially on Wednesday, where they were above 17 knots, above 20 miles an hour, so that fires that do start become uncontrollable with that much wind. We put out the watch when we're forecasting the possibility of these stronger winds along with the dry weather. And when we are sure the winds are there, then we put up the red flag warning. Both the Weather Service and Guam Fire are asking residents to be cautious this weekend. And, uh, we just ask uh, that the public just be safe. Uh, do not do any unnecessary burning without a permit uh, and without taking proper precautions. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.